hello everyone and welcome back so today i'm back with another video and what we are going to be building today is i'm gonna show you how we can create sticky sidebar component with html and css we don't even need to use javascript so as you can see here we have a header this is the hero section this is the a grid section here we have the sidebar in the right and we have the footer in down here so as you can see if i scroll down the sidebar is going to be sticking here all right and if i scroll down again the sidebar is going to be following the footer element here okay that's what we are going to be building so simple guys we can implement this sidebar sticky element here with a couple of css code but of course i'm going to show you how we can create this layout here and this is basically responsive if i open that in a mobile it's going to be look like this all right pretty cool this is one column so this is what we are going to be building and let's make it bigger and i'm going to open my terminal in here i'm going to create folder let's say sticky underscore sidebar and i'm going to cd into sticky underscore sidebar okay so inside in here i'm going to create two file which is index.html and let's say style.css and also i'm going to open that with my favorite code editor which is vs code so here we go now we have index and uh, style.css here and also i have extension called live server you can install that if you want after you install you have the go live in here you can click and now you have to you have server okay cool so in index here i'm going to generate html tag here with explanation and the title i'm going to change that to let's say sticky sidebar and let's put inside of body here i have the header let's give a text header and also we have main and also we have the footer all right so let's give footer and inside the main here we have a uh, two section basically i'm going to show you here this is the section i'm going to give a, a class article and it's going to be the site element all right so let's go back here and in here i'm going to say let's say section and i'm going to give a class called article so here i'm going to add div with class hero and inside this hero we have h1 let's say sticky sidebar and in here let's put p tag let's say lorem 20 okay and down here let's give a button let's say action and down the hero section here hero div we are going to add another div with the class grid okay so inside in here let's give a box let's say box one copy that couple time here and i'm gonna give a two three four five and six all right so under the section here i'm going to give a side element here and let's say sidebar and in here i'm gonna give a class set that equals to sticky okay save and let's go to the css here i'm going to select everything and change the background color to red it's not work for now because uh we not link oh i think the server stop let's click that again and so we have okay so we don't get the background now so let's go back to the vs code here and i'm going to link my css so let's say link css and now wait save and back and boom All right so let's go back here and of course we don't need to change the background to red just to make sure the css work in here i'm going to say margin zero padding zero 
and the box sizing let's say a border box okay now we should uh, remove all the margin and padding and everything look like this so next let's change the font family let's grab the html and font family to Arial health video some serif and i'm going to grab the header and footer and i'm going to change the background into uh, eee and i'm going to give a padding let's say 5 rem and let's say text line into center if i save and let's take a look this is what we have all right so let's go back here so now i'm going to grab the class article and class uh, sidebar i think or sticky i think sticky let's remove this sticky all right so here i'm going to add background to EEE -E -E, and let's just copy and put that here so now save and let's take a look and I'm going to let's go back to index here As you can see we have main here okay In main inside of main we have two element which is section here okay and a site right so here in the main I'm going to give a display flex okay and I'm going to say gap let's give it to RAM which is gap uh, between article and sticky so let's go back here and as you can see we have the gap which is to RAM this is the article this is the uh, sticky all right so I'm going to add a maximal width into 80% and I'm going to make it center so I can say margin top and bottom I'm gonna say to RAM and left and right I'm gonna say auto to make it center let's save and let's go back here as you can see this is what we have so next let's styling the hero div here so let's go back to VS code and I'm going to give a comment here let's say styling hero all right and in here I'm gonna grab the hero just everything here okay and I'm going to let's just uh, give a maximal width into I'm gonna say 5 dram and I'm gonna say margin bottom let's say 3 ram okay if I save now we should give have like this okay this is 5 dram and we have margin bottom all right so I'm gonna grab the h1 so let's say hero h1 let's say font size let's do 4 m and I'm gonna say margin bottom let's say 0 0.5 ram so let's grab the p tag so let's hero p uh, let's say color to 555 and give a opacity into 0 0.8 and I'm gonna give a line hack into 1.5 RAM okay so now save let's go back and see what we have okay so next let's styling this button let's go here and I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab the hero button and let's say I'm gonna change the background into one 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 just black and I'm gonna change the color to white and also I'm gonna give a padding top and bottom I'm gonna say 0 0.7 RAM and left and right 1.5 RAM okay if I save now we have this so let's add the margin top let's say margin top I'm gonna give a one RAM and font size let's say one RAM again I'm gonna make I'm gonna change the text transform into uppercase uppercase so let's add cursor pointer as well so let's do here let's say cursor pointer 
and next i'm going to styling the grid here let's do let's do down here let's say styling grid i'm going to grab the grid class and in here i'm going to say uh, display grid and let's say uh, grid template column i think grid template column i'm gonna say one fraction one fraction one fraction which is three column right and i'm going to add grid gap which is gap between the gap between the grid i'm gonna give a two ram and i'm going to add the styling so let's say grid div for individual box i'm going to change the background to red for example so now this is what we have okay we have the two ram is the gap between the box okay so this is not responsive and also you can do repeat three time one fraction just do the same thing basically okay and if you want you can use auto fill uh, say auto dash fill and in here i'm gonna say min max okay minimal minimal the width of the box here i'm gonna set that to 300 pixel and then maximal i'm gonna say one fraction okay if i save this now as you can see we have two uh column now right if i go here we have one column it is a responsive guys so now I'm going to uh, remove the background of the article and change the div into EEE like so that's what we have and let's add a hake here I'm gonna give a hake to let's say 10 RAM and I'm going to center the uh, text As you can see so we have I'm gonna center the text here I'm going to use display flex here. So let's say display flex, line item center, and justify content center. Let's make it the text to the center. Okay, that's all it is. So next, let's styling the sticky here, right here. Okay, so here I'm going to give a height to 10 RAM and width into 10 RAM as well and I'm going to center the text so we can just copy this uh, put it here and now we should have this all right so next I'm going to add a flex grow here into the article I'm gonna say maximal it's 999 uh, if you confuse what is a flex grow let's take a look here into developer mozilla As you can see here if the flex grow one which is one same uh, width with this item two and item three i put if i select the flex grow two it's gonna be look like this flex grow three and that's if i set that to 999 it's gonna be all the way into the right side okay so let's just save and let's see into the sticky sidebar here this is what we have okay so now i'm going to put a flex wrap in here let's say flex wrap into wrap okay so now if i do like so you can see the sidebar go down here okay all right so next i'm going to add the flex basis let's go back to the sticky here i'm gonna say flex basis i'm gonna set to 300 pixel okay we have 300 pixel of this sidebar here this here we have 300 pixel okay and i'm going to put this into zero just the flex basis here i'm gonna say flex passes into zero here so if i do like so as you can see it's not full width okay we can just simply do the flex grow flex grow set it to one now 
this is full width all right pretty cool okay that's what we want so now i'm going to we cannot scroll down okay we cannot scroll down because the cake is 100 percent so we can add the hake into the html here i think we can say hake to 200 view hake okay so now we can scroll all right but the sidebar is following the content okay i want the sidebar is taken here so we can set the position into sticky here and if i save and let's take a look in the browser the sidebar is still following the content okay because we're not specify the top bottom left or right so we can do here we can specify the top to ram okay so if i scroll down now as you can see sidebar will be sticking here that's all it is so if i go back here and i'm going to grab the main all right and i'm going to give a background to red which is the main here okay it's main here inside this main we have two we have section and a side right so and i add a background red okay so here as you can see this is the background red okay if i scroll the sidebar always following the uh, main here okay so if i just got the a side element here and i'm going to put that in down here for example down the header if i save now the sidebar here and as you can see if i scroll down it's gonna be sticking here and all the way following the footer and after ending the footer it's gonna be following the content okay just make sure you put a side element here inside the main or whatever you want okay just just be aware with that okay so if i put that inside the main here it's gonna be following the main content okay it's not go uh outside the footer here if i put that outside the main like so and i save you can see the sidebar in here and if i scroll down sidebar is go all the way into footer and under the footer here they're gonna be following the content okay just be aware with that so i'm going to put that again inside the main and this is what we have i'm going to remove the background and save this is what we have right pretty cool so let's take a look in the mobile version i'm going to make it smaller and boom everything looks so nice okay guys i think that's it for this video hope you can implement sticky element in your next project i hope this is helpful and i'm gonna show you in the very next video and bye